Ashanti look at our little man, Nelly. I can't believe he's only two weeks old already. Time is flying by so fast, Nelly, smiling, I know, babe. He's growing bigger every day. Leans over to kiss Ashanti and cherish, my two favorite people in the world are Ashanti, I wonder who that could be. We weren't expecting any visitors today. Nelly let me go check. Gets up and goes to the door, opens it, oh my god, Mr. Douglas. What are you doing here? Mr. Douglas, hello, Nelly. Is my daughter home? I've come to see my grandbaby. Ashanti, shocked, daddy, gets up and walks over to the door. What are you doing here? How did you even know we had the baby? Mr. Douglas, stepping inside, well, I saw the announcement on social media. I know we haven't been on the best of terms lately, but I had to come meet my great-grandson. Holds out the flowers, these are for you and the little one. Ashanti, takes the flowers, M, thank you. Looks at Nelly nervously, Nelly, can you please take Cherish for a minute? Nelly sure, babe. I'll just be in the other room. Ashanti daddy, I don't understand. Why are you here? The last time we spoke, you said some really hurtful things about Nelly and me having a baby out of wedlock. Mr. Douglas, sighs, I know, I know. And I feel terrible about that. I was just so shocked and disappointed when I found out. But I've had time to reflect, and I realize now that I was wrong to react that way. Places his hand on Ashanti's shoulder, you're my only child, Ashanti. I want to be a part of your life and the life of my grandchild. Ashanti, eyes welling up with tears, really? After all this time, you're actually willing to accept Nelly and Cherish? Mr. Douglas, yes, my dear. I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I see now that I was the one who was wrong. Nelly is a good man, and he loves you and that baby more than anything. I want to be here for all of you. Ashanti, oh, daddy, I've missed you so much. I've wanted nothing more than for you to be a part of our lives. Mr. Douglas I know, sweetheart. I'm so sorry for pushing you away. Can you ever forgive me? Ashanti of course I forgive you, daddy. I'm just so happy you're here now. Takes his hand, come meet your great grandson. Ashanti Nelly, cherish, there's someone I want you to meet. This is my father, your great grandfather. Nelly stands up and extends his hand, it's great to see you, Mr. Douglas. I'm so glad you could come meet Cherish. Mr. Douglas shakes Nelly's hand, the pleasure is all mine, son. Looks down at the baby, oh, Ashanti, he's absolutely beautiful. Gently takes Cherish from Nelly's arms, hello there, little one. I'm your grandpa. Ashanti daddy, I'm so happy you're here. This means the world to me. Mr. Douglas the world to me as well, my dear. Looks up at Nelly, Nelly, I owe you an apology. I said some very hurtful things before, and I was wrong to judge you and your relationship with my daughter. You're a good man, and I can see how much you love this family. Nelly I appreciate that, sir. And there are no hard feelings. I'm just glad we can all be together now. Mr. Douglas as am I, looks back down at Cherish, now, tell me everything about this little guy. I want to know all about my great-grandson.